Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Dio Mayer, aka Mumbles, and you're watching the Lockdown Showdown. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to the second episode of the Lockdown Showdown. In this episode, we're bringing you ramps, sections, and airs. Our three featured riders are Benji Oliver, Wes Potts, and Andro Cohn. Right after that, we're going to be dropping in on Roy Lancellas, and we're going to be talking about that infamous bow he got back in 2019 in Skeleton Bay in Namibia. And then to wrap up the show, we're going to be heading straight into the news section to bring you all the hottest content from around the bodyboarding world. Dropping in with Rory Lancellas from the Ager Project. Rory is infamous for that uh, absolute cracking barrel that he scored at Skeleton Bay in um, Namibia in 2019. Rory, what's up, man? How's things going? Hello, guys. How you doing? Yeah, good, man. Good. Just sitting indoors, dreaming about surf. Yeah, I think all of us are doing that at the moment. Mate, your that wave has done very well and has got hundreds of thousands of views. So what I want you to do for our viewers is just give us a quick little rundown on your mission to the actual break, who you were traveling with, what you experienced, and then just give us a little bit of an insight on that. Yeah, sure. Um, it was a pretty crazy mission. It's always a, it's never an easy mission. Um, but we, we had a bit of a crew lined up we, were, we had all got on the flights. We were all done all the hard bits of actually getting ourselves together. Um, I was meant to link up with Andre Buda in in Namibia, and um, we ended up being on separate flights because he was coming through from Durban and I was coming from Cape Town. And um, so we basically, due to fog, we couldn't land anywhere near our airport so sure. mid-air they di redirected our flights through to Vintook and um, and then we had to sit on the plane for a good few hours um, trying to figure out what what was going on sitting on the runway we could see each other on planes um, yeah. and there was a lot basically three planes I think sitting on the runway all full to the brim every seat full of surfers um, and everybody's freaking out because they're telling everyone that they've got to fly back oh. and the, this fall was, was was hitting the next day so it was basically a there or then mission um, uh, I was on the plane with, with, with Sasha Specker and a few of his friends um, we managed to pull some strings and we, we somehow managed to convince the pilot in the airport to let us out uh, get off the plane and then we had to hustle to try find some rental cars and we ended up driving through the night and arriving at early hours of the morning having maybe about an hour to sleep 
and then heading straight out for the morning surf first lights, which was which was quite a quite a big mission. So what did you see when you guys got there? That first like that golden that golden hour that it gets there. You know, like you guys are tired, your bodies, everything is broken. But seeing that thing offload like it did, like what was what was that like? It doesn't matter how tired you are. As soon as you get there and you see see what what the donkey releases, you end up yeah. you you summon the powers from deep within. <laughs> um, it was yeah, it was pretty incredible to to, to witness that that golden hour. Oh, so that's pretty cool. So you got in the water straight away. Was that that session where you actually got that wave, or, or was that a different session? No, no. This the so that wave. I mean, it's 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 incredibly hard to line up any sort of footage out out there. Roger was actually, I think he was he was aiming to try to get Co Smiths lined up on that one, um, and somebody had just missed it further up from me. They took off, and it was just a bit too heavy, so it ended up airdropping and it all just sort of lined up perfectly landed right where i needed to be and i remember just paddling my paddling my hardest just to try and try and make the drop it just it, everything just lined up perfectly on on that on that one wave because i remember footage from the day before just absolute carnage down there it was obviously a lot cleaner but as you bottom turn you said oh sugar i'm actually on this thing now like what, I mean, what, what was going through your mind then when you actually, I mean, that is a gem. That's a very rare type of wave to catch there, given that it's always crowded or some of the top dogs are around to uh, sift them out. Oh, it's, um, the one thing that Donkey does is it humbles everyone. Everybody seems to, uh, it doesn't matter how good you are, it's still lining it up and, and making it work is, is probably the hardest thing. Um, but yeah, the day the day before was was monstrous. I don't think I've ever been that scared surfing since I was very young. Um, it was just mutant, pure mutant, empty black holes running down the points of mass proportions. Yeah. And you almost don't want to take off because if you do get locked into it, um, it's it's. You have to commit for two kilometers. It's <laughs> it's pretty scary, and uh, just yeah, the amount of power running through that thing is it's mind blowing. It's, I know that's yeah, mind blowing. As you were cruising down that line, just going as fast as you humanly possible can, seeing the sections way down, starting up. Like what was going through mind? How did you maintain that speed? To be to be pretty honest, that one that that one. Um, I didn't realize how good it was until maybe three or four seconds of actually holding my line in there. Um, paddling in, I thought it was just going to be a fun one, um, but it just ended up growing and uh, it, it, yeah, sort of on the bottom turn, I took my first pump and, um, and just locked in and I got really deep at, to start. I had a little bit of a, of a sort of a foam and blowout. Um, uh, there was quite a few guys that were paddling. I, I think they expected me to not make it through through that section, like thinking they were going to luck into it um, and pulling back. And I had uh, it was all the boys. All the boys that on the shoulders were were pretty stoked with it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it was a nice, good, clean one. But that is a dreamy wave, mate. That was. Really, one of those uh, waves that uh, got everybody gawking on and like jealousy. It's, it's, yeah, it was, well, it was a really fun one. Well written and very, well, very stoked. Nice. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for dropping in and then allowing us to uh, tap your brain a little bit on that. So uh, much appreciated and keep shredding and then we'll we'll catch you once we land back up. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rory. I'll catch you later. Cheers. Take it easy, man. Cheers. Hey, I'm body more than got the best wave I've ever seen yeah. in my life. How's that? Oh, it was the craziest oh, thing I just, I've ever witnessed. Yeah. This is the news. In this section, we're going to be talking about everything and anything bodyboarding related. We're going to start off with movies. PLC's tender is still around and it's doing absolutely incredible. Jump over to movementmag.com and check it out. Mars just dropped an absolute stonker, showing why he is the master of Fronto. It's available on his Instagram, so head over there and check it out. 
Valentina Diaz as well over the past two years made a nice little film of her experience and wave riding that's available on her Instagram. Ian Campbell just released his movie called Elements and make sure you go to his YouTube and check that out. The Castillo brothers Alex and Max dropped their cool little feature of their time in Mexico. And on the podcast front, we have Manny Vargas's Boog Life. Go check that out. Josh Kirkman is very busy with his Le Boogie. And new to the fray is Begonia Martinez Begos Chat. That's available on her Instagram. And in other news, Mac Willey and 2018 Women's World Champion Ayaka Suzuki recently tied the knot. Congratulations to both of them. And now officially they are bodyboarding's power couple. Well, that's it for episode number two. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And coming up in episode number three, we're going to be chatting to Jacob Romero. We're talking about that massive invert he did in 2013 in Eureka. Well, that's it from all of us. Stay safe, stay cool. Mumbles out.